Okay, welcome to day five of our structural detailing. And for today, we will be learning how to detail a reinforced concrete slab using AutoCAD. And as we know from our previous lecture, we exported this, this joint detailing from Brutal Structure. And we are planning to perform a global standard structural detailing here in AutoCAD. And with the help of this, template, Stonebridge company template, we are able to achieve all this. You can see the beam details and all other things right now. But for today's lesson, we will begin to uh, detail our reinforced concrete slab. Now, if you want to get this, this template, Stonebridge template, I would suggest you check on the link below and download that. Okay, and also before we start, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, Ekidel, I would say you should do that just now so that you don't miss my coming video on how to design and detail reinforced concrete structures. Okay, so right now to begin the, the slab reinforced concrete detailing, we will just copy this right now, this first floor layout right now and copy it down. So also we will just paste it somewhere here and then we will now have to remove it, some things which are not necessary for this slab detailing, which are this test. So I'll just click on this test, right click and I'll say similar. And then right now, I'll first of all, go and deselect the ones which I do not want to delete, which are these ones. And then I'll only delete just these ones. I'll just click E and enter. And then also, I'll also remove these beam names because this is just the slab. This uh, we are trying to do the slab detailing. So I'll also click on this, right click, and then click on select similar. I'll also go again to, to, to remove these from, this, from that selection and also remove this also. And then I'll just right now click on E to remove that. Then also, I'll also remove these dimensions because we don't, we don't need this dimension and this grid line on this side. So I'll do that and delete them from here. And also on this other end also, I'll just click this right now and remove this from now also. Now, right now we have prepared this layout for slab detailing. Also, okay, now the I'll also remove this also. Then on this Tom Bridge company template, we already have a sample of slab detailing. That is why you need this template. If you don't have it, I will say you should just check on the link below and download that. So we will just copy this temp this this go by right now, this sample which have given us on slab detailing right now, and try to make our slab and try to make our slab detailing to be perfect just like this. And then we'll just copy that right now to the place where we are trying to perform the slab detailing for this lesson. So we'll paste this right now. Then I'll just have to cross this so that I will know that this is not part of my of my job, which I'm trying to work on right now. So I'll just cross this right now. I'm just trying to look a sample of this and then try to detail my slab to this standard. Let's can see it right now. Okay, so right now the first thing to do once you have you have done this right now is to change the layout. You can see this right now. We have to change this our beam names. We change this our beam names right now. You can see, you can see it right now. This beam name here, we change it to this standard because if you don't change that, it won't be nice during during your printing. Okay, so we change this right now. This is S ST beam, ST beams and color eight. So we go back right now. Click on this right now, right click, and then click on select similar. You can see that. Then go here and type ST, just ST, I can see ST beams, and then go here and click on color eight. Go here and select color eight. You can see that. Then select color eight. Right now we have done that and we have looked exactly just like this. Now also the next thing to do right now is to make this our uh, column, columns here to not be this thick. So just click on this right now, right click and also select um, similar. And then we will now have to now deselect these ones because we don't want to touch anything on this area. And then we'll just go here, right, right click here and make this as color zero point, as, um, line thickness 0 0.15. You can see that right now because the only thing that will be very visible here is just the reinforcement because you can see it right now because this is slab detailing. So we, we want to tell our viewer what, what this slab reinforcement is all about. Okay, so right now, once you have done this two right now, we are we have already gone far. So right now, we will now go right now to begin our reinforcement detailing, which will now go on the layer right now and, and type S to select stone bridge the stone bridge rebars and see there stone bridge rebars and also stone bridge rebars for top so we go and click on stone bridge rebars that is why you you need this template because it has already been set for for to perform for you 
a perfect structural detailing. Okay, so right now, once you have selected this right now, so next thing to do right now is to now begin to draw your reinforcement. So right now, we want to start drawing, first of all, or the bottom reinforcement. So I will start from this place right now. Knowing that this place is a cantilever from our previous video and also from the design, you can see that this place is a cantilever. So since we have a cantilever here right now, we will begin our reinforcement from this point and then we will just go down to this place right now also then click on click on this point right now once you click on this point right now you will now have to make a make make the the curve here to be 100 and also we go again to to input our lap length 600 and then we so sorry 600 we we'll go here and it puts our lap length 600 type 600 as as the lap length here and then click on ok now right now know that we have to offset concrete cover for this point. So we'll just click on um, O to offset our cover for concrete, which is 25, and then we'll offset this right now. Then we have to now move this reinforcement or stretch this reinforcement to this point right now. Just click on this point and straight to this point. Only the reinforcement and not the grid line. Then we can now remove this right now. Okay, we go again also at this point also. Offset our concrete cover from this point right now offset from this point to this point, then trim off this reinforcement because all reinforcement must start from concrete cover. Then we also also click on line and, and then draw this our slab reinforcement curve of 100 and then we input our, our lab right now as 600. First, now since this is since this, is, 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 since this place is a cantilever, this reinforcement must have to stretch in first. So once we have to stretch the reinforcement into this place first, then now then now apply a lapping of 600 right now so put in 600 and then press enter okay so right now we would also have to now remove this concrete cover of step line so remove this right now so right now we have successfully established our first bottom reinforcement which is the main reinforcement as you can see it here then we also have to also bring again our 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 bottom reinforcement again for this other for this other direction also so go again and click online and then click on enter and then we also now click on this point right now and then go all the way down here you can see the shape of this slab that this that there is a slab here but this slab only occupies only this region here so we have to now stop our reinforcement at this point at this point and then apply a lapping of 600 and then click on enter okay right now again we go again right now to offset our cover which is 25 so 25 25 cover and then we'll click on this place and then we'll click on this place and just trim off this right now now once we trim off that right now we now apply the curve for the reinforcement which is 100 millimeter and then enter and then we we'll apply our lap length of 600 and then we'll press enter and then we have to now click on this place and remove this offset line. Now we have now established this is the main reinforcement for the for the for this slab, and this is the slab distribution reinforcement. Okay, right now we are done with this slab right now for this button reinforcement for this panel. Now we go again right now to also provide button reinforcement for this other panel right now. Now looking at this right now, you can see that this place they are they are already looking very similar so right now we also click online and click on what enter and then we go again since this place is a staircase which shows a discontinuous end end or end you can see it here so uh so and also since it's a staircase slab reinforcement does not extend to the staircase we will have we it, it will have to lot just stop at this last beam before the staircase so right now we will just click on here and then draw our reinforcement now while you're drawing this your reinforcement note that one length of full reinforcement is 12 meters so when you're drawing your reinforcement make sure that, that the length of any reinforcement is no more than 12 is no more than 12 meters for me i always like to stick around 11.5 so that i will not exceed that because knowing that we also have a bending on this place so i like to stick on 11.5 or just 11 meters for my reinforcement so right now i'll just type 11 11 meters which is 11 thousand millimeters and i'll just click on enter and then right now i'll come here right now offset my concrete cover make sure you offset this cover because it is it is very good so offset this cover right now for the for this slab and then start from this place right now and click and impute your your slab reinforcement curve and then provide your lapping of 600 and then right now i'll click on trim to trim off this excessive reinforcement right now and then remove this cover offset line okay right now so we now have this right now so since this is um, 11 since this right this length of this length of bar right now is 
seven five, and also this is um, six hundred, and also you can see that this this is six hundred. You can see that, and also this is hundred. So if you add all this length together, they are less than twelve meters. So right now this is okay because it has not exceeded one full length of reinforcement. Then also I'll also click on line again and go again, and then I'll click on this point right now. Since this, is, this since this is a can't lever, I'll just um, copy this right now. Copy this right now. This reinforcement which we have already done. Copy it right now to lap with this right now to go to this place. Then what I'll do right now, I'll just remove this um, the, um, the, the continuous end shape. And then right now on this place, knowing that all lap length for for a size of six hundred for a size of 12 diameter bar for slab is 600 millimeter so right now i'll just right now i'll click on this place and just provide a line just here now offset from this line backward 600 to to provide my lapping between these two reinforcements so i'll do this right now once i do this right now i'll just remove this right now that this line alone tells me we are this reinforcement here we stop this one here so i'll just trim off this reinforcement right this one right now at that point then remove this so right now this is the lapping of season between this reinforcement and this reinforcement and then i'll just um try to move this a bit closer just to show that they are lapping together i'll move this a bit closer right now so you cannot see that this reinforcement comes from this place curve down and then move to this point and terminate because it has already exceeded the 12 meters which is the full length of one full, of one full reinforcement and also it then it this one now continues to it and then lap it so this is there this is a lapping point then what will happen is that i'll just go right now to show that lapping dimension i'll click on stb dimensions that is why you need this stone uh, company template it is very good so i'll just click on this right now and then click on this right now and then go up right now and put it here and then i'll go again right now again and just dimension something here the aim is just to um, change the i'll just explode this then remove this right now and remove this right now and then i'll just change this right now to um lapping i'll change this right now to just say lap lap and then i'll just copy this right now so that if anyone seen this dimension right now they know that this dimension is for the lap length you can see that right now okay so just to make this thing clearer i'll just remove first of all i'll remove all these grid lines then after i'll have to intuit them back so i'll just remove them right now just to have a clearer view of my slab reinforcement and my slab panels so i'll just remove this right now and then delete it to have the clearer view right now okay so right now i think this is okay so right now again now let's now do right now we have already we have already shown this lab this lab reinforcement detailing and which this lab reinforcement detailing right now we run from this point down all the way to, to this point because if you see this region they are like they are similar i can see that they they have they have similar panels and also similar shape so right now we have detailed the bottom reinforcement from this point as you can see it here all the way down to this point then also right now we have to provide the vertical reinforcement the vertical reinforcement detailing for this other direction for this other so we also click on go back here and click on stb for rebars okay we click on this place right now check that layer and then click online and then enter and then also right now we start from this place right now click at this point right now and then go all the way down still maintaining our 12 meter length so we just type 11 meters it is 11,000 millimeters and we click on enter and then we go right here to offset our cover of 25 millimeter for the slab and then to begin our reinforcement from that cover and then we go right now click on line and then click on this place and then type home 100 and enter which is the curve and then input our lap lap length of 600 and then click on enter and then we go right now to trim of this right now this is one and then click on this place to remove this right now okay so this is what we have just gotten right now you can see that then we also go to this place again and then also continue to ju just click on this point right now then go up all the way down here and then just um, leave it here so we go right now and then also show our curve for this other direction too so we just first of all offset the cover of 25 right now from this point offset this right now and then um input our curve from here right now to this place and type 100 and then also go and input our cover of our length our lap length of 600 and then enter and then go 
to trim and trim off this space just now. And then we have to delete this offset line. Okay. So right now, this is what we have. Right now, we have to now show the lapping of this space right now. So right now, we'll just click on line right now. From this main one that we have already known the length, which is 11 meters, we just click a line right now and offset this line by 600 to show our lap length. So we just go right now and, and put this offset right now and then delete this immediately. And then we now have to now um, trim off this way, this, this reinforcement for, to this point. So we click on this place and just apply trim to this reinforcement and then remove this offset line. And then this is what we have. Now we would have to now change this place this layer right now to layer of um, dimension and dimension this lap length just now. So we click on this and dimension it just now. And then again, we would we can just go here right now, copy this, um, copy this lap. Um, text right just now and then change the rotation to angle 90 and then we can go like this and then click copy this right now or move it immediately down to this point right now to show our lapping okay so you cannot see what we have achieved just now then right now we can just um change this and put this here okay so this is what we have gotten right now now we have gotten just now the bottom reinforcement for this lap which runs all the way from this point to this point and also we have gotten the also the bottom reinforcement on the on, on the y direction which, which runs all the way down from this point to this point okay you can now see right now so right now we will now have to provide the reinforcement which we which we run for this panel as you can see it right now and also the one that we run for um for this panel also so right now we will just have to um copy this right now and also copy this from here and then just apply copy and then click on one of these line this point here and then copy it down to this point you can see and then we also this is still maintaining the same length which is which is less than 12 meters if you add everything together it now also we also um now go to also copy this one right now once we copy this right now we'll bring it down to um this this date make this line straight and just paste it somewhere here somewhere here and then try to um, extend the lap of this reinforcement so that it can lap with this reinforcement so we we'll extend this right now down to this place first then since we already know the length of this so we are now offset our lap length from this place backward so we just put lap length of 600 and then offset this um, backward and then with this you can take off this right now and then click on trim to trim off this excessive reinforcement and then remove this right now and then we can now go right now to copy uh, our lap length here since we already know that it is 600 we'll copy this from this point and then just go all the way down here and paste this right now so we will now have to um, move this upward okay if we don't have space just here we can just remove this right now and then dimension it downward so click on this point and then click on this point dimension it here downward okay so right now we can now copy this right now and then bring this down to show that this is um lapping okay this is what we now have but i think it will be nice to put this up for because it's not nice downward so i'll well, just click right now and click on this point and click on this point just now and then dimension it up here and then click on remove this just now and then move this lap text up here and then just leave it here and then i can just do this right now to do this right now okay so you can you can see what we have just gotten right now we have also um formed the reinforcement for this for this just for, for just this panel as you can see it here then also since we have similar panel with, with this and also with this we'll just copy this right now and copy this right now also copy this right now and also copy this right now and then move this upward just copy not move copy this upward from this point down to um, this point right now now if you want to get the full video of this structural detailing from start to finish which will also contain this beam detailing and all other detailing from also foundation i would say check on the link below and download the video for the full detailing okay so i'll just bring this downward and then move this upward and it's not right to dimension this down here so what i'll do is that okay this place also is not also okay so i'll just trim i'll just um stretch this backward right now because we don't have cantilever at this end so i'll stretch this backward right now to this point and then i'll also um 
stretch this also by selecting this one first, just the reinforcement, and stretch this backward by 25 just to give my cover of reinforcement. So 25 right now, I can enter. Okay, so right now, I can now see that we now have a cover of reinforcement of 25. If you measure this right now, you see that. Okay, so right now, what I want to do right now is to, you can also see that we also have the cover for 25 that here also. You can see that. So right now, I want to change this place right now and bring it back downward. So I can just um, dimension this now, dimension this from here and to here, and then um, just paste this here and then copy this lap right now, this lap text and bring it downward here. And then just remove this just now, and then and then I'll just have to trim um some things out here because sorry, because this line seems to um let this thing just come out. Sorry, okay, okay. I'll just trim this off um just now. Trim this off just now to remove this line that's causing this test. I'll trim this off and then um do this. Okay, can I see what I have? Can I cannot move this up for the beats? And then this is what we have. So you can see that we have successfully um, placed all our bottom reinforcements. I can remove this one, it's not necessary. And then also remove this also, it's not necessary. Okay, so you can see that we now have our our bottom reinforcement, which runs, which, which is on this place, and also bottom reinforcement for this. We can choose to move this one upward a bit, uh, at least to centralize it so that it will look a bit nice so just move this upward a bit and then keep it let me say somewhere here okay so you can now see that this is a staircase which is a void which we, we does not need a reinforcement for from from slab so this is a void and also you can now see that we have detailed this slab and we have provided all our bottom reinforcement in our next video i'll show we will we, we, um um showing how this how this reinforcement is is running just like this right now you can see that this reinforcement this 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 button this reinforcement right now runs from this point to all the way to this point and also this top reinforcement also runs from this point all the way down to this point so in my next video also we i will show you how to um and we, we, we will place how how this reinforcement here is running and show also the direction or um, from from end to end where this reinforcement is running and also in my next video also i will show you how we will we, we will be placing um the the top bar because what we have just placed now is the bottom bar so i will say that if you don't miss the next video i will say that you should um click on the subscribe button and then subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss the next video okay so thank you and let's wait on the next video